the newsreader, 40, tweeted her farewell today, telling her 19,000 followers, in the words of the legendary Frank S., I'm afraid the time has come my friends. It's very surreal. Thank you so much for all the support I've received. DEBZ and Nas will continue with the Maybach podcast. And suddenly, I'm told I've only got days. Rachelle also spoke out about her news on Instagram, sharing the same message with her 16,000 followers alongside a picture of her and her husband Steve Bland. Oh devoir my friends, she added. She added, obviously I can't get round to all of your messages but I'll do my very best to read them all. Cancer few concert goodbye. The BBC Radio 5 Live star was diagnosed with breast cancer in November 2016 and has been documenting her experience on her blog, Big C Little Me. She has also been sharing her cancer journey on the podcast You, Me and the Big C. Last year, she underwent months of chemotherapy and, in February, had lymph node surgery. However, biopsies showed her cancer was metastatic and she has since been tasking part in a knee drug trial. Rachel's latest blog post titled Trial and Error, was uploaded on July 17. In the update, she said she was no longer able to continue on the clinical trial of immunotherapy due to her declining health. My measurable liver lesion had grown by more than the 20% allowed, she said, quite significantly more, and that meant I was not allowed to continue on the immunotherapy. They could have left me on the trial but another two months of that kind of progression and I'd been liver failure with no options left, she continued. Rachel said her lungs were, quite frankly a bit of a mess after previously explaining she was suffering from a pleural effusion. I haven't been able to breathe well under any exertion for weeks now. The small pleural effusion, where fluid builds up in the city between the lung and ribs due to irritation from malignant cells there, turned into the massive one that too. Rachel is mother to six-year-old son Fred with her husband and previously revealed she is writing a memoir for him so he can learn about her life when he's older. Three liters of fluid was drained off two weeks ago. She called it a race against time to complete the book before she s. On her blog, she recalled how she had been out with Fred when she had received the news her cancer I was at the ice cream farm with Fred and some of his little pals. She wrote, My heart raced as I answered it, knowing a phone call did not bode well. Then came the words, I am so sorry. It's bad news. The biopsies have come back showing the same cancer is back and is in the skin Raquel. Went on, I watched my little Fred innocently playing away in a tire in the barn and my heart broke for him. I scooped him up and dashed home and then had to break Steve's heart with the news that my cancer was no metastatic and therefore incurable.